Corona Borealis is a small constellation in the northern celestial hemisphere. It is one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy, and remains one of the 88 modern constellations. Its brightest stars form a semicircular arc. Its Latin name, inspired by its shape, means northern crown. In classical mythology Corona Borealis generally represented the crown given by the god Dionysus to the Cretan princess Ariadne and set by her in the heavens. Other cultures likened the pattern to a circle of elders, an eagle's nest, a bear's den, or even a smoke hole. Ptolemy also listed a southern counterpart, Corona Australis, with a similar pattern. The brightest star is the magnitude 2. 2 Alpha Coroni Borealis. The yellow supergiant R. Coroni Borealis is the prototype of a rare class of giant stars, the R. Coroni Borealis variables, that are extremely hydrogen deficient, and thought to result from the merger of two white dwarfs. T. Coroni Borealis, also known as the Blaze Star, is another unusual type of variable star known as a recurrent nova. Normally of magnitude 10, it last flared up to magnitude 2 in 1946. Adds 9731 and Sigma Coroni Borealis are multiple star systems with 6 and 5 components respectively. Five star systems have been found to have Jupiter-sized exoplanets. Abel 2065 is a highly concentrated galaxy cluster 1 billion light-years from the solar system containing more than 400 members, and is itself part of the larger Corona Borealis supercluster. Covering 179 square degrees and hence zero. 433% of the sky, Corona Borealis ranks 73rd of the 88 modern constellations by area. Its position in the northern celestial hemisphere means that the whole constellation is visible to observers north of 50 degrees south. It is bordered by Boötes to the north and west, Serpens Caput to the south, and Hercules to the east. The three-letter abbreviation for the constellation, as adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1922, is CRB. The official constellation boundaries, as set by Belgian astronomer Eugène Delporte in 1930, are defined by a polygon of eight segments. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between 15 hours 16. 0 meters and 16 hours 25. 1 meter, while the declination coordinates are between 39. 71 degrees and 25. 54 degrees. It has a counterpart, Corona Australis, in the southern celestial hemisphere. The seven stars that make up the constellation's distinctive crown-shaped pattern are all fourth magnitude stars except for the brightest of them, Alpha Coroni Borealis. The other six stars are Theta, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, and Iota Coroni Borealis. The German cartographer Johann Bayer gave 20 stars in Corona Borealis Bayer designations from Alpha to Upsilon in his 1603 star Atlas Uranometria. Zeta Coroni Borealis was noted to be a double star by later astronomers and its components designated Zeta 1 and Zeta 2. John Flamsteed did likewise with New Coroni Borealis, classed by Bayer as a single star, it was noted to be two close stars by Flamsteed. He named them 20 and 21 Coroni Borealis in his catalog, alongside the designations New 1 and New 2 respectively. Chinese astronomers deemed nine stars to make up the asterism, adding Pi and Rho Coroni Borealis. Within the constellation's borders, there are 37 stars brighter than or equal to apparent magnitude 6. 5. The constellation Corona Borealis as it can be seen by the naked eye Alpha Coroni Borealis appears as a blue-white star of magnitude 2. 2. In fact, it is an Algol-type eclipsing binary that varies by 0. 1 magnitude with a period of 17. 4 days. The primary is a white main sequence star of spectral type A0V that is 2. 91 times the mass of the Sun and 57 times as luminous, and is surrounded by a debris disk out to a radius of around 60 astronomical units. The secondary companion is a yellow main sequence star of spectral type G5V that is a little smaller the diameter of the Sun. Line 75 plus or minus 0. 5 light years from Earth, Alpheca is believed to be a member of the Ursa Major moving group of stars that have a common motion through space. Located 112 plus or minus 3 light years away, Beta Coroni Borealis or Nusakan is a spectroscopic binary system whose two components are separated by 10 astronomical units and orbit each other every 10. 5 years. The brighter component is a rapidly oscillating app star, pulsating with a period of 16. 2 minutes. 
of spectral type A5V with a surface temperature of around 7980K, it has around 2. 1M, 2. 6 solar radii, and 25. 3 liters. The smaller star is of spectral type F2V with a surface temperature of around 6750K, and has around 1. 4M, 1. 56R, and between 4 and 5 liters. Near Nusakan is Theta Coroni Borealis, a binary system that shines with a combined magnitude of 4. 13 located 380 plus or minus 20 light years distant. The brighter component, Theta Coroni Borealis A, is a blue white star that spins extremely rapidly, at a rate of around 393 km per second. AB star, it is surrounded by a debris disk. Flanking alpha to the east is Gamma Coroni Borealis, yet another binary star system, whose components orbit each other every 92. 94 years and are roughly as far apart from each other as the Sun and Neptune. The brighter component has been classed as a Delta Scuti variable star, though this view is not universal. The components are main sequence stars of spectral types B9, V and Eve. Located 170 plus or minus 2 light years away, 4. 06 magnitude Delta Coroni Borealis is a yellow giant star of spectral type G3. 5 Ive that is around 2. 4 M and is swollen to 7. 4 R. It has a surface temperature of 5180 K for most of its existence. Delta Coroni Borealis was a blue white main sequence star of spectral type B before it ran out of hydrogen fuel in its core. Its luminosity and spectrum suggested has just crossed the Hertzsprung gap having finished burning core hydrogen and just begun burning hydrogen in a shell that surrounds the core. Zeta Coroni Borealis is a double star with two blue-white components 6. 3 arc seconds apart that can be readily separated at 100x magnification. The primary is of magnitude 5. 1 and the secondary is of magnitude 6. 0. New Coroni Borealis is an optical double, whose components are a similar distance from Earth but have different radial velocities hence are assumed to be unrelated. The primary, new 1 Coroni Borealis, is a red giant of spectral type M2 IV and magnitude 5. 2, lying 640 plus or minus 30 light years distant, and the secondary, new 2 Coroni Borealis, is an orange-hued giant star of spectral type K5 IV and magnitude 5. 4, estimated to be 590 plus or minus 30 light years away. Sigma Coroni Borealis, on the other hand, is a true multiple star system divisible by small amateur telescopes. It is actually a complex system composed of two stars around as massive as the Sun that orbit each other every one. 14 days, orbited by a third Sun-like star every 726 years. The fourth and fifth components are a binary red dwarf system that is 14,000 astronomical units distant from the other three stars. ADS 9731 is an even rarer multiple system in the constellation, composed of six stars, two of which are spectroscopic binaries. Corona Borealis is home to two remarkable variable stars. T. Corona Borealis is a cataclysmic variable star also known as the blaze star. Normally placid around magnitude 10, it has a minimum of 10. 2 and maximum of 9. 9. It brightens to magnitude 2 in a period of hours, caused by a nuclear chain reaction in the subsequent explosion. T. Coroni Borealis is one of a handful of stars called recurrent novae, which include T. Pixides and Euscorpii. An outburst of T. Coroni Borealis was first recorded in 1866, its second recorded outburst was in February 1946. T. Coroni Borealis is a binary star with a red-hued giant primary and a white dwarf secondary, the two stars orbiting each other over a period of approximately eight months. Our Coroni Borealis is a yellow-hued variable supergiant star, over 7,000 light years from Earth, and prototype of a class of stars known as our Coroni Borealis variables. Normally of magnitude 6, its brightness periodically drops as low as magnitude 15 and then slowly increases over the next several months. These declines in magnitude come about as dust that has been ejected from the star obscures it. Direct imaging with the Hubble Space Telescope shows extensive dust clouds out to a radius of around 2,000 astronomical units from the star corresponding with a stream of fine dust, composed of grains 5 nanometers in diameter, associated with the star's stellar wind and coarser dust ejected periodically. There are several other variables of reasonable brightness for amateur astronomer to observe, including three Mira-type long-period variables, S. Coroni Borealis ranges between magnitudes 5, 8 and 14. 
one over a period of 360 days. Located around 1946 light years distant, it shines with a luminosity 16,643 times that of the Sun and has a surface temperature of 3,033 K1. Of the reddest stars in the sky, V. Coroni Borealis is a cool star with a surface temperature of 2,877 K that shines with a luminosity 102. 831 times that of the Sun and is a remote 8,810 light years distant from Earth. Varying between magnitude 6, 9 and 12. 6 over a period of 357 days, it is located near the junction of the border of Corona Borealis with Hercules and Boötes. Located 1. 5 degrees northeast of Tau Corona Borealis, W Corona Borealis ranges between magnitude 7. 8 and 14. 3 over a period of 238 days. Another red giant, RR Corona Borealis is a M3 type semiregular variable star that varies between magnitude 7. 3 and 8. 2 over 60. 8 days. RS Corona Borealis is yet another semiregular variable red giant, which ranges between magnitudes 8. 7 to 11. 6 over 332 days. It is unusual in that it is a red star with a high proper motion. Meanwhile, Eucorone Borealis is an algol type eclipsing binary star system whose magnitude varies between 7. 66 and 8. 79 over a period of 3. 45 days Ty Coroni Borealis is a pulsating white dwarf type, which is around 70% as massive as the Sun, yet has only 1.1% 1. 1 of its diameter. Discovered in 1990, UW Coroni Borealis is a low-mass X-ray binary system composed of a star less massive than the Sun and a neutron star surrounded by an accretion disk that draws material from the companion star. It varies in brightness in an unusually complex manner. The two stars orbit each other every 111 minutes, yet there is another cycle of 112. 6 minutes, which corresponds to the orbit of the disk around the degenerate star. The beat period of 5. 5 days indicates the time the accretion disk, which is asymmetrical, takes to precess around the star. Extrasolar planets have been confirmed in 5 star systems, 4 of which were found by the radial velocity method. The spectrum of Epsilon Coroni Borealis was analyzed for 7 years from 2005 to 2012 revealing a planet around 6. 7 times as massive as Jupiter orbiting every 418 days at an average distance of around 1. 3 astronomical units. Epsilon itself is a 1. 7 m orange giant of spectral type K2i that has swollen to 21 r and 151 liters. Kappa Coroni Borealis is a spectral type K14 orange subgiant nearly twice as massive as the Sun, around it lie a dust debris disk, and one planet with a period of 3. 4 years. This planet's mass is estimated at 2. 5 megajoules. The dimensions of the debris disk indicated is likely there is a second substellar companion. Omicron Coroni Borealis is a K-type clump giant with one confirmed planet with a mass of 0. 83 megajoules that orbits every 187 days, one of the two least massive planets known around clump giants. HD 145457 is an orange giant of spectral type K0 I've found to have one planet of 2. 9 megajoules. Discovered by the Doppler method in 2010, it takes 176 days to complete an orbit. XO-1 is a magnitude 11 yellow main sequence star located approximately 560 light years away, of spectral type G1V with a mass and radius similar to the Sun. In 2006 the hot Jupiter exoplanet XO-1b was discovered orbiting XO-1 by the transit method using the XO telescope. Roughly the size of Jupiter, it completes an orbit around its star every three days. The discovery of a Jupiter-sized planetary companion was announced in 1997 via analysis of the radial velocity of Rho Coroni Borealis, a yellow main sequence star and solar analog of spectral type G0v, around 57 light-years distant from Earth. More accurate measurement of data from the Hipparchos satellite subsequently showed it instead to be a low-mass star somewhere between 100 and 200 times the mass of Jupiter. Possible stable planetary orbits in the habitable zone were calculated for the binary star Eta Coroni Borealis, which is composed of two stars, yellow main-sequence stars of spectral type G1v and Jev respectively, similar in mass and spectrum to the Sun. No planet has been found, 
but a brown dwarf companion about 63 times as massive as Jupiter with a spectral type of L8 was discovered at a distance of 3,640 astronomical units from the pair in 2001. X-ray image of galaxy cluster ABEL 2142 Corona Borealis contains few galaxies observable with amateur telescopes. NGC 6085 and 6086 are a faint spiral and elliptical galaxy respectively close enough to each other to be seen in the same visual field through a telescope. ABEL 2142 is a huge, X-ray luminous galaxy cluster that is the result of an ongoing merger between two galaxy clusters. It has a redshift of zero. 0909 and a visual magnitude of 16. 0. It is about 1. 2 billion light years away. Another galaxy cluster in the constellation, RxJ1532. 9 plus 3021 is approximately 3. 9 billion light years from Earth. At the cluster center is a large elliptical galaxy containing one of the most massive and most powerful supermassive black holes yet discovered. ABEL 2065 is a highly concentrated galaxy cluster containing more than 400 members, the brightest of which are 16th magnitude. The cluster is more than 1 billion light years from Earth. On a larger scale still, ABEL 2065, along with ABEL 2061, ABEL 2067, ABEL 2079, ABEL 2089, and ABEL 2092, make up the Corona Borealis supercluster. Another galaxy cluster, ABEL 2162 is a member of the Hercules superclusters. Hercules and Corona Borealis, as depicted in Urania's mirror in Greek mythology, Corona Borealis was linked to the legend of Theseus and the Minotaur. It was generally considered to represent a crown given by Dionysus to Ariadne, the daughter of Minos of Crete, after she had been abandoned by the Athenian prince Theseus. When she wore the crown at her marriage to Dionysus, he placed it in the heavens to commemorate their wedding. An alternate version has the besotted Dionysus give the crown to Ariadne, who in turn gives it to Theseus after he arrives in Crete to kill the Minotaur that the Cretans have demanded tribute from Athens to feed. The hero uses the crown's light to escape the labyrinth after disposing of the creature, and Dionysus later sets it in the heavens. The Latin author Haginus linked it to a crown or wreath worn by Bacchus to disguise his appearance when first approaching Mount Olympus and revealing himself to the gods. Having been previously hidden as yet another child of Jupiter's Triss with a mortal, in this case Semele. Corona Borealis was one of the 48 constellations mentioned in the Almagest of classical astronomer Ptolemy. In Mesopotamia, Corona Borealis was associated with the goddess Nanaya. In Welsh mythology, it was called Caer Aryanrod, the castle of the Silver Circle, and was the heavenly abode of the Lady Aryanrod. To the ancient Balts, Corona Borealis was known as Dallas, the Flower Garden the Arabs called the constellation al Feka, which means separated or broken up, a reference to the resemblance of the stars of Corona Borealis to a loose string of jewels. This was also interpreted as a broken dish. Among the Bedouins, the constellation was known as Kosset al Masakim, or the dish-slash-bowl of the poor people. The skitty people of Native Americans saw the stars of Corona Borealis representing a council of stars whose chief was Polaris. The constellation also symbolized the smoke hole over a fireplace, which conveyed their messages to the gods, as well as how chiefs should come together to consider matters of importance. The Shawnee people saw the stars as the heavenly sisters, who descended from the sky every night to dance on earth. Alfeca signifies the youngest and most comely sister, who was seized by a hunter who transformed into a field mouse to get close to her. They married though she later returned to the sky, with her heartbroken husband and son following later. The Mi'kmaq of eastern Canada saw Corona Borealis as Muskegwim, the den of the celestial bear. Polynesian peoples often recognized Corona Borealis, the people of the Tuamotus named it Na Kaua Ki Tokarau and probably Tea too. The constellation was likely called Kaua Mea in Hawaii, Rangewenua in New Zealand, and Te Wale Oawatu in the Cook Islands atoll of Pukapuka. Its name in Tonga was uncertain, it was either called Ao Ouvia or Kaukupenga. In Australian Aboriginal astronomy, the constellation is called Woomera due to the shape of the stars. The Whale One people of northwestern New South Wales saw Corona Borealis as Mullion Walla Eagle's Nest, with Altair and Vega, each called Mullion, the pair of eagles accompanying it. The Waterman people of northern Australia held the constellation to be a gathering point for men's law, women's law and law of both sexes come together and consider matters of existence. 
Corona Borealis was renamed Corona Fermiana in honor of the Archbishop of Salzburg in the 1730 Atlas Mercurii Philosophici Firmamentum Ferminianum Descriptionem by Corbininus Thomas, but this was not taken up by subsequent cartographers. The constellation was featured as a main plot ingredient in the short story Hypnos by H. P. Lovecraft, published in 1923. It is the object of fear of one of the protagonists in the short story. Finnish band Catacross released an album titled Corona Borealis in 2002. Thanks for watching.